as technical sales specialist for Hexagon. Today, we are at the Michigan Novi office. I want to introduce you to Hexagon Machine Trainer. This product will help you train a machinist on using new controllers, or it'll help train apprentices on how to even use a machine. This is a better way to go than using your machines in your shop that you're using for daily production. So over here, you would use either a Hyde Pine, Siemens, or Fanuc. That's what we support. We've partnered with these companies to help you introduce real controllers that are really functional into uh, this simulation. Okay, so let's get started, guys. I'm gonna show you how to use this product uh, as an apprentice would use it or an experienced machinist would use it running. So as you can see, I can pick from three different controllers, uh, depending on which one you're training on. Today, we're gonna use Fanuc controls. So just by picking on this icon, I can go and look at what projects are in the list here. So I wanna pick this one right here. Gives you kind of a picture down in this area right here of what the machine and setup and the part is. And then over on this right hand side is you would use this icon, which is the Hexagon Machine Trainer, which actually loads the virtual uh, controllers over here on my right. So as you can see, the Fanuc controller on this unit is portable, but if you order the machine with a Fanuc, it would replace one of these two, which this one's the Siemens, and this is the high pack control on this side. And this monitor, spin around to the other side and you can spin this to the other side to use whatever controller you're training on. So it's a really nice feature. We can also, for the Hyde Pine and Siemens, we actually have this portable handheld unit to jog your machine around to. So once I've loaded the controller uh, over here on the other monitor, all I have to do is connect to the machine and start our simulation. So this will represent an operator standing in front of a machine, just like at a shop. So once you have this ready, I have to go over to the controller and we're going to load the program to run and show you how this all works. So program, folder, find the program you want to run. Then we go back to program. I'm gonna go auto and we're gonna go cycle start. Now the machine changes tooling. It's gonna to go ahead and it's gonna machine the part according to the program. So this is a useful tool to help your apprentice get used to controllers and also it's for experienced users that might not have used this type of controller. We support Fanuc, Siemens, and Heidenheim. You can order any of these in a variety of methods. The screen I'm allowed to come in here and I can, I can pan the machine around. I can zoom in and zoom out, rotate it around. So now that that tool is done, we're going to go to our second tool. So I noticed that my tooling stopped in the part. Over here, the program ended. So now I have to find out what went wrong. This is what we teach our students or your, you teach your apprentices on how to use and get back into the program. So the first thing I need to do is get the tool out of the machine. So I'll come over here, go to the handle mode. I'll pick, in this case, I'm gonna pick the Y axis and then using the hand, hand wheel and whatever increment I want, I can go ahead and hand wheel this out in this direction. And then we'll pick X direction and I'll hand wheel out this in the X direction. And then I'm gonna pick Z and I can hand wheel this, but I could also go to jog and go to plus like this. And now the tool is out of the part. 
So it's very important you pick the right axis or know what direction you're going. And this helps to teach a user direction and things. So if I go and pick Y, but I go the wrong way, you can see it warns you that you're, you're causing some issues. Just if I pick Z and went up, I get the same thing. So this is another good teaching example. I'd rather teach somebody here and crash this and crash a machine that costs a half a million dollars. So now I can investigate what happened and what, what are my next steps. So we're in the program, I'm gonna edit. Uh, I'm gonna look for tool two, because that's where it's, it was the issue. And you notice there's tool two right here. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna say auto, and I'm gonna say cycle start again. And it's asking you, do you sure you wanna start the program? I do, and I'm gonna go uh, let it run, but when I get close, we'll change the single block so we can find out what happened. So let's turn on single block mode. So now I got to the corner and now I can go ahead and look at the lines up here. So it did the last arc move. Now it has an M9, an M5, a G4, and an M30. Well, an M30 kills the program. So now I truly need to go find those lines and edit the program. So we're going to edit. And then we'll come into here. So I go up one line. And we're, what we're going to do is put a, a command in here to, uh, to comment out those lines. Go to the end of this line. So now that I did that, we'll go back and we'll search for tool two again. And we wanna go up, tool two up, and then we'll go auto, it's like we'll start, and we'll go block skip this time. So any of those blocks that I uh, commented, it'll skip those. So we could go ahead and we can watch our tool again. Now we're approaching that same corner that we first stopped at. You notice it continues on now by skipping those lines that I commented out. And it gradually comes off the part and goes back to home. So this is how we can teach your students or experienced people on using controllers.